What's up, everyone? This is Kick a Touchdown Sports Football Show, you yep. Playoff Edition. I'm Bill White. With me, as always, Nick Nate Bolte. How you doing? As you can see, we are not in our typical studio. I have to fire another intern. So if there's any interns out there looking for uh, some free, uh, I'll write, I'll write the best thing for you as long as you don't walk us out of the damn thing like we are right now. But um, either way, let's get right into it. It is the vision around the playoffs. Ooh, I can't wait. Yes, we Big have game. we have two games Saturday, two games on Sunday. Um, and let's get right into it. Yeah, you know. So um, first game Saturday, Green Bay, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, are favored by seven points over the Los Angeles Rams, who beat Seattle last week. What do you think? You think they're gonna roll? Do I think the Packers are gonna roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I don't think the Rams really have yeah. a shot. I really don't. Even if the Even Rams, if the Rams are playing at their all-time like best, they're still not good enough to beat this Packers team. Even if Jalen Ramsey's like doing wonderful on yeah. Adams, is it, you have the only thing is if Aaron Donald can take Aaron Rodgers' head off. Basically, that's a, so. that's a, that is a good point. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, but I still have the Packers in this game. Um, I don't think LA is just, just like I said before, I don't think they just have the talent to keep up with Green Bay. Green Bay is like a force, especially offensively. They are a force. I agree. So, uh, we both got Green Bay in that game? We do. Yeah? Little, um, I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, is a true true stat for this year. Aaron Rodgers has thrown more touchdowns than the Green Bay Packers have punted. Really? Yes. That's a wild stat. Is it? Yeah. Wow. And that's why I remembered it. That's like uh, the Patriots in 07. Like, you like were very real when they went undefeated until they lost in the Super Bowl. Mm. Speaking of which, real quick, um, when the Patriots lost that Super Bowl to the Giants, real quick, funny story for you guys. I lost a bet, and I shaved my <laughs> eyebrows off. I remember. Do you remember that? <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't there, but I remember. I remember. I yeah, saw pictures. They're, they're I saw off pictures. for a little bit. But funny, my eyebrows, I don't know if you can see, they're pretty thick, right? They grew back in like like two weeks later, full eyebrows. <laughs> they grew back so fast, like a little, like the next day I was I had a five o'clock shadow of my eyebrows. It's <laughs> nuts. It's like my beard and my hair it just grow so fast. It's who crazy. would have thought your eyebrows grow just as fast as the rest? Of you. I feel like yeah. they grew faster. Faster. They grew faster. Faster. It's like what are you doing, shaving me off? Like we gotta <laughs> we get back here. But yeah, so then and then my stepbrother um, was calling me Powder. Do you remember that movie Powder? The kid, he had like. Like some powers, but he had like he had like no eyebrows though, so he called me powder, and I, he put like powder. I mean, one night I was out drinking, we put powder all over my face, and we were calling me powder. It was pretty funny. But, <laughs> that's just a little bit about that. Nice. Yeah, that was uh when they lost the undefeated season. Uh, I was like, was it? No, it wasn't. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. That was the second time the Patriots lost to the Giants, 2014, I think, or 11. No, uh, 2011. 10. Maybe the 10 seasons. Oh, actually, it might have been 11. It might have been 11 because yeah. I remember I remember watching that game. I yeah. remember I was in uh, North Carolina. Me too. I shaved my eyebrows after. I was in North Carolina. <laughs> I was doing some drinking. Yeah. Found the old uh, <clears throat> found service. J Vegas. There Jacksonville. you go. Jacksonville. Hey, any of you uh, Marines, you you know about Jacksonville probably. Oh, they Almost most every... definitely do. <laughs> yeah. Um, Not me. I was in the Army. He was Marines. More reason to watch the show. You have veterans here. Let's go. Hey. So, um, What's the, next? the next game on Saturday, the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen, rolling. They're two and a half point favorites against the Ravens, who uh, beat the Titans last week. <sighs> this is a kind of a tough one, because, well, I mean, the Bills are just, like I said, they've been rolling. Yeah. Josh Allen's been on a, on a streak, he's been on fire. But it seems like Lamar Jackson's come on <clears throat> in the late, late part of this year, and even the late part of the game last week. Ever since he came out of the locker room. Mid game. Oh, after he uh, had the uh, had the Hershey squirts, whatever and, it may be, yeah. <laughs> he's been on point. Since. Whatever it was, I don't know why. Why did people like? So he was. <clears throat> he had to go take. Uh, he had to use the bathroom during the game, right? That's Possibly. what to say. Uh, why? Why deny it? What? Like why? And then he denies it, right? Like he was like, no, that's not why. Well, just say it's why. Everyone, to everyone poops. I don't know. <laughs> everybody, everybody poops. It's not like you're like, oh, I had to go. Uh, <laughs> 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 Everybody poops. Have Everybody poops. The interview, the movie, the interview where uh, oh yeah, yeah, and he's like, he doesn't peer poo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he just works so hard. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That it just 
It just he doesn't it just disappears. Yeah. He also um Tell me my man doesn't pee a poo. <laughs> what's it called? The guy there, the leader of North Korea, I don't like seeing his name. He doesn't deserve me to say his name. Yeah, we won't say his name. Um Bye. he also said he played golf one time and shot at eighteen. He did a hole in one every time. First time he played golf. There's too many there's too many things of that. That's how good that's how show. good that short fat fuck is. He And that's why that movie is fucking awesome. It is. Remember they like tried they said they're gonna like they're threatening America they, if they played in the they, theaters. They took the movie out of theaters and yeah, put it, they put it on and Netflix. Put it on Netflix for free yeah. immediately after. Yeah. That's, a, that's pretty much like a fuck you. Yeah, so eat shit in North Korea. We want yeah. it free. We didn't have to pay for it. I wasn't even gonna go see it probably. Oh, oh, you don't want people to see this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here you will. Here, here you go, go, America. Here you go, everybody. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> Good. F you. Um, um, so this is crazy. This is a this is a tight spread. This is a tough game. It's in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot that like the spread's close because a lot, you know, everyone's taking yeah. each side. Uh is it Nick Nick Marks? He likes to gamble on Nick Marks. If you're not familiar with, he's a uh, video game streamer on Twitch. I'm not. Even he's like one of the most popular uh, streamers currently. He's about seventy thousand people watching him at a time. What does he do? Play video games? He plays Call of Duty Warzone. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> he talks football. Yeah. He oh, gam- okay. Yeah. He uh, he gambles. Oh. He puts. A, he he's been gambling every week. Really? Yeah. On the on the games. Anyway, he's taking the Ravens. I don't. I don't know. I, I'm. Uh, I'm taking the Bills. Yeah, the Bills. Yeah. I'm taking the Bills, too, because I don't think, <sighs> like, Omar Jackson, like, he knows he's had a terrible playoffs record. He's 0-2, but it was bad before last week. Yeah. He, so had, he had a what decent... Was it against Tennessee? Tennessee ran all over him. What was that? Oh, oh. That's crazy. crazy. Hey, Jesus. Uh, but, <laughs> oops. So I was we right. Turn the volume off. <laughs> that, was right. That, that was the symbol that was telling you I was right. Derrick Henry ran all over yep. Baltimore last Da-ding. year, and that's why they lost. Yeah. The oh, what was the other loss? How did, was it? I us? Did we beat? Yes, I think so. The us has in the New England Patriots. Yes. So. As you can see, the shirt. Yeah. If you don't already know. In my hat. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> Either way, so we both got bills there. Let's move on to Sunday. Yeah, let's just let's keep it. the 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 uh the day of rest. Woo. Um, not for these players. No, uh, so Kansas City is ten point favorites over the Cleveland Browns. The Browns put a whooping on Pittsburgh last week. Um, KC is favored by ten points. Now, do I want KC? I think KC is gonna win the game, right? Yeah. But do I think it's gonna be close or not close? Is basically the question here. For me, I think that um. Some tell me to take KC and not to believe in Cleveland. It's just that simple. I don't believe in the old Browns, aka the Ravens, or the new Browns, aka the Browns. So buy a point, take it at nine. So you got Cle- no no buying points. You either got Cleveland, or you got well. I'm, I'm letting them know. Consider it. Oh oh, I'm oh, taking I, KC. Oh, I see. But I think they'll win by ten. Exactly. So you're calling push. No, I said buy a point. But so you, I'm not. I'm not selling points. What's your pick? I'm selling you a point. You want it, you want it. So you take, take KC. I'll take KC. But you're telling them they're going to win by nine. So you would. No, I told win. them they're going to win by ten. Oh, so you call it call a push, but you're saying KC in case. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Um, yeah. I mean, it'd be interesting because Baker, like, this is a big game for Baker Mayfield and his, like, the Baker Mayfield story. You know what I mean? Up until now, yeah, he won that playoff game, but. Overall, I think he hasn't been really a, a complete success. Maybe in the eyes of Cleveland Browns fans, because you haven't really seen much. But you know, <clears> Ty <throat> Detmer and Jeff Garcia and guys like that. So, uh, but I got KC. I'm rooting for Cleveland, to be honest. Are you? I I don't know. I I would rather watch Pat Mahomes in the in the, in the Super Bowl. That's just me. I just if I'm not getting if I'm not I mean, getting if I'm not getting the Patriots, I want I want Mahomes. And I want uh, Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? But or, or Buccaneers, that'd be interesting too. So we both got KC. <clears throat> Speaking of those Buccaneers, yeah. they are the next game, the last game to finish up the, the this round of the playoffs. New Orleans, the Saints, is favored by three over Tom Brady, Gronk, Antonio Brown, and the rest of those former New England Patriots known as the Buccaneers. Yep. Um, who do you got in this game, Nick? Nick, uh, this one's tough. Yeah, this one's tough. Uh, this one is tough. It's like, do you believe in Brady? It's hard not to pick Brady in the playoffs, yeah, you know? I know. I'm going Tom Brady. Yeah? I'm going Tom Brady. I'm going Buccaneers. 
And uh, and that's all you need to know. Yeah, because they're the balls. They're the balls. Because Brady's the boss. I mean, I don't even want. I don't want them to run. I'm Brent personally probably rooting for the Saints. I don't want. I don't want to see the Buccaneers be successful. You know what I mean? It's no. kind of like a spiteful thing, on my part. But at the same time, it's just like. I guess when it comes to the playoffs and it comes to Brady, it's it, you, you, you got to go with Brady in the box. I got to take the Saints. I don't no. know, just the, some of the skill players. Uh, I don't know, just the way Kamara has been playing out of his mind. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's been great, insane. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm gonna take the Saints, but I mean, I'd like to be, I'd like it to be a close game. Yeah. A- entertaining game. Yeah. Shoot I do too. It should be a good game. I think it's gonna be a good game. No. It's going to be really interesting, I think. 